Welcome to episode four of Liberty Loft Lessons. Today I'm going to be teaching you the song from the intro, and that was Dinosaurs by Ruby Fields. Now, if you haven't seen the video of her playing this live, there's actually two versions. One's Triple J, but the really cool one is Splendor in the Grass 2019. So if you haven't seen that and you like the song, please stop this video, go and watch that because it gives you chills. It's really cool. But anyway, the intro part of the song is really, really cool. And then the rest of the song is a bunch of chords that you probably already know. But if not, I'm going to show them to you anyway. Let's go ahead and jump in. Alright, so for the intro, we're going to do 1st fret E string with the index finger. And we'll do 2nd fret of the G string. I like to use my ring finger for that. Take that. And you'll know if you listen to the song, she likes to do some variations in there. So I'll show you what those are. For the intro, it goes F for two bars. And during that section, all she does is lift up one time like this. She'll go. I don't know how many times she plays it, but you just have to get it by ear. The second time around, she'll actually start the verse. Where I'm scared of huntsmen's. I'm scared of huntsmen's that take your pinky hit the third fret of the G string there so and that part right there would be third fret second fret open G second fret all the while you're droning that F note so now we go to a D minor, or just a D, hit this open D, leave your ring finger down, and just... for a couple of bars, and then back to the F. Back to the D. Now we're going to a B, or a B flat rather. I like to play a B flat like this. Index finger, first fret of the A string, and then you bar these three starting on your third fret of the D string. So anyway, you take this and you go like this. You go A string, D string, A string, G string. And you just keep going like that. on the last one I just hit, I, I like to hit the D string there so and then we go to this G but this one's it's kind of weird you can use your ring finger or your middle finger to play the G note I like to mute this A string right here with it and then I like to use my index finger to hit second fret of the G string right here what you're gonna play on this one is the G and then the open D string Back to the G note, and then second fret of the G string. So, like that. And then you go to this D minor. So, D minor is just open D, then second fret of the G string, and then ring finger, third fret of the B string, and then index finger, first fret of the E string. 
but um like what she does on the triple j version is she'll leave her index finger off so for this one i start with my index finger off and i go open d string and then g string back to the d string and then the e string so i play that a couple times third time i like to put my finger down so that you play that a couple times so just like that All right, so we just picked the bridge, so now we're into the chorus. So we ended on a couple measures of D minor, if you remember. So we're gonna start the chorus off with this B flat major. And we're gonna go down to a G minor. And similar to the bridge, but instead of going to a D minor here, we're going to an F major. That's the first time around. Second time around, we're gonna start on a D minor to B flat major to the F again same thing third time around so and that's your chorus Alright, so that completes that video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.